Hello everyone, Red Panda Bricks here, back again for another LEGO video. And today I will be going over some new LEGO Marvel 2021 sets that have leaked, including some of the new Spider-Man waves, which I'm not sure if there will be more LEGO Spider-Man sets. I hope there will be, but there are three in this video, and one What If set, which you can see on screen right now. Starting out with the first set, we have set number 76201, LEGO Marvel What If, Captain Carter and the Hydra Stomper. And it's another mech build, which we've gotten a lot of recently with the 2020 Hulkbuster and the Ironmonger, and this obviously. But I'd say this kind of looks like a mix between the Ironmonger and the 2018 Hulkbuster, the one that was in the Infinity War sets. But of course this one is green and has a little Captain America symbol right there. And yeah, there's not much to say about this box art. It's just showing the set. And they use the Lego Minecraft head in transparent blue as the Tesseract, which I think is a little bit too big, because it's bigger than their head, which isn't accurate to it, the actual thing from the movies at all. But I do prefer over the old piece they used to use, which was just a one by one piece, which didn't really work. And here's another view which doesn't show much other than like how they get in and out and a little stud shooter. Again, this doesn't show much, just some more promotional images. And this is the same as that other image up here, just not on the box. And here we get a better look at the minifigures, which it's pretty cool to get a, just an average Steve Rogers figure. But he's definitely least exciting out of the whole set. We have the Captain Carter figure right here, which doesn't show her shield, which her shield's like right up here. So it's pretty much the same as the Captain America shield, except there's no red, and it has the, uh, I think that's a Union Jack, is what it's called. Okay, I just looked it up, and that thing in the center is called a Union Jack. She also has one on the torso piece right there, which, so it's kind of like the Captain America suit, except just Captain Britain, pretty much. Captain Britain is what she was called in the comics when she had that suit. Also, though, we have my favorite figure in the set, Red Skull. Which, yeah, this is just an accurate version to the one from the 2011 Captain America movie. And that's about it for this set. On to the Spider-Man ones. Starting out with the first Spider-Man sets, we have a 4 plus set. Set number 76184. Spider-Man vs. Mysterio's Drone Attack. Which, as it says right here, it's inspired from the Far From Home movie. I'm glad they use the accurate... Spider-Man suit this time. I don't know why they didn't use it last time. It's not like they didn't want to spoil it or anything, because they used the Night Monkey suit, and the suit was seen in trailers. Yeah, we have a little small 4-plus car build there with Nick Fury, which I'm pretty sure is the same one we got from the Far From Home sets. We have a drone right there, which I don't know why it's shooting something green. That's not very accurate. And we have Mysterio here, which is the same one, I think, from the Far From Home sets. Except it has the little blue helmet piece there. So it looks really cool. It would have been even better if we got one based off, like, his actual, what his actual suit looks like. Which is the whole CG thing. That would have been cool to get. But yeah, I think people are really only going to buy this set for that Spider-Man there. And maybe a drone. Oh, and here we get some other looks at it. Here's like a gem piece. There's two guns here. And a little replacement piece for that. Shows you how to build on the box, which is just a sign that it's a 4 plus set. Honestly, I don't think it's worth the $20 price. Because these 4 plus sets are always overpriced because they have these big pieces. Like that car piece right there. Because it's the big piece, it's going to increase the cost. And Lego knows. People are still going to buy it because it has this Spider-Man figure. But anyways, on to the next set. Next, we have the most exciting set, for me personally, which is set number 76185, Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. This one's going to have 355 pieces, going for $34.99 USD. Which, real quick, I forgot to mention the price and the pieces for this one. I mean, I kind of mentioned the price, just not at the beginning. It's going to be 1999 USD with 73 pieces. But back to here, the reason why this one is so exciting for me is because 
Well, first of all, that Spider-Man suit's amazing. And they have that cool new cape piece. But also, this one is like the only one that's really based off the movie completely. You'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit with the next set. But as a Lego fan, these sets are pretty exciting. But as a Marvel fan, these sets are even more exciting. Because us Marvel fans have been waiting forever for something on this new Spider-Man movie. Which is kind of funny that we've gotten to see the sets before we got to see a trailer. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got a little bunch of stuff there all throughout the place, which is... I'm guessing going to be a room in the Sanctum Sanctorum. As you can see right here, everyone has like a tool of some sort. That means they're probably going to be building something. So who knows what that could be. Also Wong's here on the computer. Got like a little cookie or something there. It's mug. I'm not exactly sure what some of this stuff is like that right there. But it looks like a bunch of little bottles of stuff with a crystal. I really like his cape, just holding the tool, and Spider-Man on a bike is pretty funny. One thing I have a question about, though, is, like, is Doctor Strange's printing. Why does he still have the Eye of Agamotto if there's no time stone? My guess is Lego's either reusing pieces, or maybe he still has it in the movie for some reason, even if it's useless. But also this Spider-Man suit, let's get a closer look at it. But here's a closer look at the set. We can see Spider-Man's suit here, along with the other figures, which I really like that Doctor Strange face print there. And if we want to get a closer look at the actual suit, here it is on the front box right there, which I'm realizing now, zooming in actually kind of gives us a better look at it. And for anyone who wanted it, here's a closer look at the first set. Also, ignore these two things. These are from my recording software. But yeah, this is a pretty cool set. And he's got all the web pieces, but also, here's a scorpion here. Like, probably the villain. Which means scorpion will probably appear in the movie. There's even a spider versus a scorpion right here. Probably foreshadowing Spider-Man versus scorpion. Now, of course, take these Lego Marvel leaks with a grain of salt, because even if the sets are real, they're not always accurate to the movies. Especially the Endgame ones. That was a pretty big one that Marvel wanted to be secretive of. And considering how secretive they are of this movie, a lot of these sets probably aren't very really accurate. Though the suits definitely are. And yeah, I'll be getting this set. Or well, I'll be wanting to get this set at least because of that Spider-Man suit. And this Doctor Strange with the new cape piece. Which I think the Spider-Man here kind of looks like a combination between the Far From Home one and the Iron Spider one from Infinity War. Also, I didn't notice this until just now, but there's a little hourglass right there. But on to the next set. For the final set, we have set number 76195, Spider-Man's Drone Duel, with 198 pieces going for 1999 USD. Which, this set is a much better deal than the other set, the first set. Look, 198 pieces for $20. This first one has 73 pieces and it's $20. That's why I hate 4 plus sets. Now this is what I was kind of talking about earlier. How this set is the only Far From Home or No Way Home based one. Because this one says it's based on Spider-Man Homecoming. Which you can definitely see in the Vulture. But what confuses me is Spider-Man and this drone thing here. Because obviously if you've seen the movie you'll know it never appeared in Homecoming. And this suit is completely new. So I think they're aspiring it both off of No Way Home and Homecoming compared to the first set we saw which was just far from home. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like the vulture here. Here, I'm going to zoom in a little. Okay, now that I've zoomed in, we can see here's that Spider-Man suit again, this time just in Lego. And I mean, this drone here is actually pretty cool looking. It's like a spider but with four arms. And this Spider-Man suit is honestly my favorite suit we've seen in this video so far. And this Spider-Man suit is my favorite suit out of this Marvel wave. And also, they really improved the Vulture. Because they have a new piece now. Instead of that, like, Iron Man piece that they used originally, which just did not work. So it's hard to tell here, but I think it's like a helmet piece with a shield. And that mask piece there, 
and then the actual head is the one with the glowing eyes. Yeah, this one's got a whole bunch of gold spider webs, so it looks like there's going to be some gold and black Spider-Man suit in the movie, which I'm not sure what that's all about. It could be Spider-Man just has multiple suits. At least the suit could be based off of Spider-Man No Way Home. But this scene probably won't happen in the movie because it says it's inspired by Homecoming. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Which set do you think is the best out of this? What do you think of the new Spider-Man movie? Like the video if you enjoy, please subscribe, thank you for watching, and goodbye.